Hey, it's your guy Raf, and today we'll be bringing you the top 25 free PS4 games of all time arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. At number 25 we have Hawken. It might be gone from the PC, but this free to play title is thankfully still serving mech shooting action on the PS4. Playing like a blend of Overwatch and Titanfall, take part in this team based PvP competition in any of their hulking mechs. Size doesn't matter in this game, promising fast paced action whatever type you choose. As a free to play title, you may encounter some microtransactions along the way as you choose the perfect mech to bring to the dystopian battlefield. It has a play score of 7.35. Number 24, Trove. World of Minecraft, am I right? Kidding aside, Trove is a popular choice these days for bringing together voxel survival adventures with classic MMORPG tropes. Play according to your chosen roles and fantasies and go on various quests around the vast, blocky universe. It's a world that's brimming with excitement, or at least in short bursts. Criticized for being a little repetitive, it's still a fun free-to-play MMO you can enjoy with friends. A play score of 7.39. Number 23, H1Z1 Battle Royale. Bluehole might have already brought PUBG to the PS4, but there's nothing like quite having the original on your console. More importantly though, let's be honest, it's free to play. Uh, a standalone entry from the H1Z1 experience, this battle royale game sticks true not just to the classic King of the Hill formula, but also to the look and feel that everyone fell in love with. If you're sick of fumbling to form a new fort, H1Z1's BR formula is a nice return to the vanilla experience. It has a play score of 7.52. Number 22, Defiance 2050. Calling this a remaster of Tryon World's 2013 MMO might be accurate. It's also a little generous, offering a modern friendly experience compared to the original. With a few tweaks to gameplay and a fancy coat of paint, Defiance 2050 appeals to players with a love for open world environments, co-op missions, and emergent gameplay. It has a play score of 7.54. Number 21, Crossout. Targum Games' MMO action game takes you on a Mad Max-like experience with explosions and vehicular mayhem. Dominate the post-apocalyptic landscape with your own heavily customized armor masterpiece and tear your enemies to shreds. And of course, the vehicular action isn't complete without their straightforward but intense PvP battles, giving players plenty of choices for weapons and hardware and those classic microtransactions. It's always fun and satisfying to build a monster out of scratch. It has a play score of 7.54. Number 20, Star Trek Online. All good things come to an end. Not Star Trek though. It's still going strong decades after its pilot episode. This generation's Trekkies are lucky to be in the same period as Cryptic Studios' MMORPG. Putting players in the August Captain's chair, venture through the final frontier and discover infinite beauties of the universe's infinite combinations. It even features characters of the Star Trek movies and series from then until now. Free as it is, you might have to shell out some points to get some of your favorite ships and races. It has a score of 7.57. Number 19, Terra. A title that could rival the giants of the MMO genre, first released on the PC in 2012, Terra's vast and detailed open world has continued to impress players far and wide in their much recent move to the consoles. Although it's understandably showing some age-related wrinkles like the repetitive grinding, it is a faithful port of the action combat MMORPG it was on the PC, albeit one year behind. The big ass monsters aren't as big and scary anymore, but ripping them to shreds is addictive as ever. It has a play score of 7.61. Number 18, Dreadnought. Traveling around the galaxy is one thing, but designing your own ship is another thing when it comes to Jaeger's tactical team-based space warfare game. As an outlaw captain, fulfill your rewards as you take down enemy ships, travel to new battlefields, and befriend other players. Being at the helm of a gigantic spaceship in their cinematic cosmos is already a delight on its own, but the strategy that each fight entails definitely adds to it. Purchase your own fleet of ships and open your horizons with each upgrade. It has a play score of 7.66. Number 17, Dark Eclipse. As any ordinary MOBA, take control of three leaders and use their skills to take down enemy structures on the battlefield of Oldest. What makes this game special though is its use of virtual reality. Perfectly optimized for the platform, Dark Eclipse may be the first successful VR MOBA. Aside from its unique medium, it has garnered praise from MOBA and RTS fans for its attention to detail and continuous updates. A sleeper hit, it has a play score of 7.67. Number 16, Let It Die. These days, we all have that hunger pang for death and all its gory beauty. Grasshopper manufacturers free to play hack and slash certainly does a trick. Enter the mysterious tower barbs and partake the ultra violence that awaits you in over 40 floors of tireless combat. While it feels a bit old school in some, Let It Die is an enjoyable mishmash of Mortal Kombat gnarliness and Souls-like combat. Dying in those higher levels might be a little painful for your wallet though. It has a play score of 7.68. 
Number 15. DC Universe Online Fulfill all your childhood dreams and put yourselves in the shoes of the universe's greatest, including Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and so much more. Side with good or evil as you customize your hero from top to bottom. Choose your own personality, movement, weapons, powers, and your faction. Become the hero or the villain and side with your like-minded companions to vanquish evil or dominate the world. The player base is still strong, and its latest batch of updates continues to make the game better. It's even coming out to the Nintendo Switch sometime soon. It has a play score of 7.77. Number 14, Warframe. Base Ninjas. There's a certain charm to digital extreme sci-fi MMO, and for six years, they've evolved into a riveting free-to-play co-op third-person shooter in every update. Be part of the Tenno, a race of ancient warriors with badass ninja powers and supernatural badassery. It's a PvE game at most. Players are dropped in massive planets fighting various enemies with the help of their friends or solo. Pick from its unique arsenal of Warframes and grind your heart out to upgrade it to its optimal degree. There's a reason why this game has managed to survive in an ever-evolving gaming industry, and that's a good thing. Its latest update, the Jovian Concords, adds new content including a new Warframe called Wisp. It has a play score of 7.78. Number 13, Neverwinter. Based on the legendary Dungeons & Dragons adventures, from the makers of Perfect World comes a fantasy MMORPG set in the eponymous city of the Forgotten Realms. Play as one of many race types and classes and take up your role as a protector of a devastated land. Based on the deep lore of the Dungeons & Dragons universe, immerse yourself in its complex and layered narrative. Topped with beautiful visuals and impressive voice acting, it has a play score of 7.90. Number 12, Paladins. This hero-based first-person shooter from hi res Studios is like Blizzard's Overwatch, but it has its own unique flair that makes it different. The game combines the hero shooter and deck building into one great entry. Select from a wide list of heroes and customize their skills to your own choosing. Compete with players in three massive objective-based modes such as Onslaught, Siege, Team Deathmatch, and its new Battle Royale mode, which acts like a standalone entry compared to its original Paladins version. It has a play score of 7.94. Number 11. The Playroom VR, PlayStation 4's couch virtual reality game that showcases the console's camera and dual shot controller. Immerse yourself in various worlds and feel Sony's technological feats in its three built-in mini games that you can play with your friends. Interact with 30 tiny robots. Go back to the iPad days of the PS3 and take care of the cat-like robot Asobi. Or play air hockey. It also has four other DLCs that let you make toys, play with an alien buddy, become a ninja, and work the stage. It has a play score of 7.98. Number 10, A King's Tale, Final Fantasy XV. Square Enix continues to milk their prize-winning cow with this unlikely take on the Final Fantasy XV experience. It takes 30 years before Noctis and his boy band's road trip. The fresh retro art style cover is a completely new atmosphere for the title. Perform devastating and intense attacks in its in-depth battle system or summon magical creatures just like in every FF entry out there. Meet familiar and new characters as you uncover the unrevealed story that leads into the main game. It has a play score of 7.99. Number 9, War Thunder. Rock and roll along with the superpowered vehicles of the greatest wars in history. War Thunder offers an encompassing battle experience. Conquer the battlefield from land, sea, and air. This game puts you in the driver's seats of the German warplanes, Soviet tanks, and the fleet of the Japanese Empire. It offers a lifelike experience of war in modes like realistic and simulator battles. Their newest update comes with even more reckless devastation with new locations, game modes, and mechanics. Use your innate tactical wits, or just shoot and blow things up. A score of 8.03. Number 8, World of Tanks. Focused on the joy of destruction, step into the battlefield as tanks from throughout the world's history. With millions of registered players, it's definitely as fun as their trailer suggests. And it's the kind of war game that doesn't take war seriously. With the different varieties of tanks, there's always one that'll fit your style. Tinker around with the heavies or lights, Chinese or UK, fast or slow, and blow the others away. Literally. Not only does it have intricately curated tank choices, it also has addicting and testosterone pumping action that feeds your hunger for explosions. A play score of 8.07. Number 7. Planet Side 2. Yes, the game is still active. A Guinness World Record holder for having the most players in one battlefield, join an army of elite soldiers in an endless planetary battle. It's an MMO first person shooter done right, with massive areas and large scale battles. Choose a faction and fight alongside hundreds of allies in the march to victory. Despite its dwindling number of players, the devs remain true to their community and support them until the foreseeable future, adding new weapons and other gameplay bonuses to the game. 
It has a play score of 8.07. Number 6, Pinball FX3. Zen Studio's third installment of their signature pinball simulator. There's more fun paddle pushing in store for you in this edition. Show your love for your favorite Universal Picture franchises with a slew of new tables, from the likes of E.T., Back to the Future, and of course Jaws. Trade high scores with friends in the asynchronous competitive multiplayer or show your medal in the game's various tournaments. It also marks the first backwards compatible title, letting you bring out your FX2 purchases for no additional price. It receives a play score of 8.08. .08. Number 5, Smite. The gods must be crazy in this other entry from Hi-Rez Studios. This third-person MOBA game puts together very iconic hero and villain from the ancient myths and legends in the battle of divine supremacy. Its ever-growing pantheon consists of characters like Thor, Medusa, Nyx, and so much more. It's a perfect free title that offers enough content, especially with its diverse game modes where your skills are always tested. Its recent update adds the Egyptian icon set and Horus to the fray. It has a play score of 8.20. Number 4, The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Everyone wants a good story, and this free game from Don't Nod takes us to the beginning of their new Life is Strange title. Captain Spirit is a prequel to Life is Strange 2. Step into the shoes of a young boy named Chris as he uses his personality to relieve boredom, interact with your surroundings, and weave through its choice-driven narrative. Make tough decisions and decide the future of your Life is Strange 2 data once you get to play it. It makes good use of indie music, fantastic dialogue, and of course art. It has a play score of 8.27. Number 3, Fortnite Battle Royale. The king of the battle royale craze. Epic's universally acclaimed third-person survival shooter is a pop culture phenomenon. Like most BRs, drop from plane or battle bus rather, pick up weapons and be the last one standing. Its strategic building gameplay separates Fortnite from the other BR titles. Use the environment to your advantage to achieve the epic victory royale. Since its release, the game has received numerous updates and to this day, it's not stopping. It has a play score of 8.40. At number 2 we have Apex Legends. EA's unexpected battle royale game has been taking over the charts in the past few months. A spin-off to Respawn's critically acclaimed Titanfall series, this first-person shooter takes you to a massive arena where you and two other friends team up to become the last champion standing. Select from a unique roster of characters and use their distinct hero abilities to turn the tide of battle. As a game's as a service, it continuously gets updates including upcoming heroes, new weapons, and battle passes in every major season. It has a play score of 8.51. And finally, on the number 1 spot, we have Atsune Miku, Project Diva Future Tone. Miku fans are a whole kind of community. Sega's gift to the Miku lovers out there comes in the form of the adorable rhythm game. This Vocaloid princess is once again stealing your hearts, charming you with her graceful dance moves and serenading you with her synthetic voice. Although it's not entirely free, this version offers enough music to finally convince you to purchase the entire music pack, especially its two expansion packs. Feature sound and colorful tone. It receives a play score of 8.85. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, my name is Raf. If you love the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified web player. Bye.